Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. This is part two of the service database. So what I want to do first of all is just go through some of the changes I've made because as I said last time, once you start using data, you can see the mistakes you've made. So in the customer table, let's have a quick look at that. Everything there is the same as it was before, no changes. However, I have changed the parts table. I've just got rid of a the part number just left it like that. This is part ID, part item and quantity, fairly basic. And the service table, if we're going to design, I've added part item and part quantity down the bottom there. And I've also added a lookup and I use the lookup wizard. So I only see the part item and not the uh, ID field. And I'll just close that down and show you that. In fact, I'll go and see it. So, part item. So when you click into there, you don't see the ID field. You just see the part required. And in terms of the relationships, I've got rid of um, the relationship. That relationship is from a subform, which I've got there. So I need to make that relationship part ID to part ID, part item. Um, you can have that on there or you can take it off. It's totally up to you. But that's the changes I've made. So there, there was a link before to customer ID um, and service ID, I mean, into parts. I've got rid of that link and this is the link that's there now. Just close that. Yeah. Okay, so what I've created is a couple of forms. So I've got a customer service records form, which is just not, I've not really tarted this up at all. It's just a straightforward drag and drop, and this is what the end product is. So each customer's service records would be listed below the table there. The service table itself, I've got a form here, which is the service form. This is where you'll fill out the service and there you've got your lookup for the part quantity. And in a later session, I'll do a query that will update the part volume in the actual parts table. So when you use something, it takes it off this. That'll just be an update query on a new session. But let's get rid of these tables. So if I um, delete these three off and then we'll recreate those. Turn this sound down because that's really irritating. And then delete that one. Okay, so first one was the customers table. So it's straightforward, create form design. And then you go to properties. You select the source, which is customer. Then you go to fields and you use your shift key to select them all. Move the shift key down, click on the top one and then the bottom one, and then just drag them on, like so. So that's the customer details, and then you can adjust these these field widths if you wish. Uh, I'll just do one, just pull that wider, because an email will be wider. And then underneath that, we had the service record, so that was a subform. So I just draw a subform, and what I want is a table, not a form, so if I just go like so. What I want is the service records and I want them all across except I don't need customer ID because it's already on there. It's linked to this. Next, check the link is okay. Customer ID. Yep, and then I can just finish that off. That's all I need to do. Make that a bit wider and then have a look. And you need to adjust these widths and see if you can see all the fields. And then that, that one would be almost done. Probably need to go back into design and just widen this table a little bit. I can actually see it all there if I, if I just click on that one. That's it, it fits. And this will obviously grow over the years as you do more services. Um, if I do another service on this one for the... 21st of the 12th, 2020. Say it's going to be a 20,000. It's BMW 3. 500 quid because they're cheap. 
not vatable. Does the vat? Remember, they did the calculations in the tables before, and it wants to filter BMW 3, and we used one. So, obviously, the parts side of it, you can build up the parts table to represent a proper service, the sort of bits and bobs that you need, and then the um, we'll run a query to update those parts. So, we need to save this form. So, if I click on, click on save, this is FRM customer service records that's it okay close that one down and then the other form we did was based on the service itself so uh, create a form form design property and service table service fields and then you bring in all these in like so and again, you can adjust these so that they they fit. So part item could be a bit longer than that. Customer ID has got to look up, look up on it from the table. So in the um, service table, customer ID, I did a look up on there. So if I go to design on that and just show you, customer ID has got a look up, which is showing five column count so it's looking at a table of query customer table five that's what that's doing and it's looking at this data so you can see who the customer is just get rid of the field list get rid of the service table so this form needs to be saved so this is going to be frm service okay to that have a quick look like so that's okay so if we do a new service service id for customer id one so if we do a new one so service date um we'll just do key command for today control semicolon service type thirty thousand. customer id mr brown car type fiat price of service one pound joking and parts, I um, haven't even got a part for them. So let's put a, a Mazda part in there and one. So you can see the parts table needs to reflect the car type lookups. So in the car lookup table, we've only got these um, BMW 5 there. So I would have to put a Fiat in there. So then that would be part of that. And then you can have that okay so that's that table done uh, we can close that one down so the next step after this one is to create some queries uh, to do some reports because what I'd want to do is create an invoice so the next session we'll look at creating an invoice for a customer based on the service that they had done so there's a price for it and the invoice will just be a report but it will be based on a query so hopefully that's of use to you and you've followed the two sessions through that's all I want to talk about today, so I'll see you in the next one.